autopsy reveals what the media didn't about the death of comedy trailblazer Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball died of a rupture of the aorta. This tells me how she died, but not what led to such extensive damage to this critical blood vessel. The show says that before she died, the queen of comedy was using a drug that became a popular sex aid. I remember we were playing backgammon one night, and all of a sudden she had a little shortness of breath, and she took out poppers. Poppers were a sexual thing that certain people did back in the 80s. The street name for amyl nitrite is poppers. Poppers are a strong smelling inhalant, often associated with sex, but its original purpose was as a prescription drug to treat pain in the chest. Autopsy says Lucille's chest pain was a signal. As early as 1984, four years before her death, Lucille Ball was using this inhalant to ease pains in her chest and heart. And that could be a warning sign of already established cardiovascular disease. Dr. Hunter says that isn't the only warning sign he found. My investigation has discovered reports of a major setback for Lucille some two years before her life ended. And I want to find out what impact this had on her health. What really killed Lucille Ball? You'll have to watch Autopsy to find out.